let us visit alpha beta receptors of the sympathetic system as we all know there there are two types of receptors of both alpha and beta alpha 1 alpha 2 beta 1 beta 2 so to remember it very easily a very easy way is that all the odd number receptors are excitatory receptors and even number receptors are inhibitory receptors so alpha 1 would be a excitatory receptor while the alpha 2 would be inhibitory receptor and we would know that alpha 2 actually is a presynaptic inhibitor of alpha 1 so similarly for the beta 1 and beta 2 the beta 1 would be the excitatory receptor and beta 2 would be the inhibitory one so to remember it very easily the odd number receptors are excitatory and even number of receptors are inhibitory that brings us to again a second point that is there are alpha 1 receptor alpha receptors and then there is a beta receptor the 1 and 2 alpha 1 is for constriction so we write it a b c d a b c d alpha 1 constriction and beta 2 dilatation as you would know alpha 1 is a receptor which is there in the sphincters so it causes excitation and it causes sphincter con contraction and one number of receptors all the alpha 1 beta 1 these are ex these are fired during emergency situation fight and flight situations so another easy way to remember is that one number of receptors that is the first number receptor either alpha 1 or beta 1 they would be fired during emergency situation where alpha 1 is present in sphincters alpha 1 is present in sphincter all the sphincters of the body whether it is whether they are in the arterioles or whether they are in the urinary bladder outlet or whether they are in the idiosyncratic valve or whether they are in the pyloric sphincter anywhere the sphincter is there it would be mostly alpha 1 innervated and alpha 1 is causing constriction and because of that constriction the sphincter is closing so in the in the emergency situations the sphincters are closing down the beta 2 receptor beta 2 receptors are essentially inhibitory as even number receptors are inhibitory so beta 2 receptors are causing inhibition and then hence dilatation and they are causing dilatation of the smooth muscles now remember wherever the smooth muscles is there they might be in the bronchial tree they might be causing dilatation they might be in the uterus causing dilatation and relaxation they they can be in the smooth muscles of the intestine causing relaxation so beta 2 is essentially they can be in the in the blood vessels causing relaxation so per decrease in the resistance so beta 2 is causing dilatation there are three types of beta receptors there are two types of beta alpha receptor alpha 1 and alpha 2 alpha 2 receptor is again inhibitory because even number receptors are inhibitory and alpha 2 actually has no not much clinical significance they are the inhibitors of alpha 1 again but beta has inhibitory the beta is inhibitory in nature but the, there are two other types of beta receptors that is beta 1 and beta 3 beta 3 is essentially a modified beta 1 so what about beta 1 beta 1 exists just in two places that is the juxta glomerular cells in the kidney and in heart so that is easy for us to remember so very easy for us to remember where are the beta receptors and where are the alpha receptors alpha 1 receptors we don't have to think of alpha 2 alpha 1 receptor they reside at the sphincters so we named the sphincter and alpha 1 receptors we have beta receptors 
where are the beta receptors located beta 1 receptors is located only in the jg cells of the kidney and the heart where are beta 2 receptors beta 2 receptors are located all the smooth muscles in the wherever they are all the smooth muscles of the body so beta 2 receptors are there and where is beta 3 beta 3 is essentially a, a modified uh, beta uh, beta 1 receptor so they are found in the adipose tissue and now also said to be found in the urinary bladder so that that, that is a special uh, occurrence so that makes us makes us an easy remembrance of alpha and beta receptors